you know, fast food shortens your life. Anyone who has ever worked at a fast food restaurant knows there is some crazy stuff that goes on in them. As many will attest, sometimes the most interesting stuff that goes on at a restaurant happens behind the counter. The customers can be oddballs, and sometimes the workers are even more out there. These are the top 10 WTF fast food restaurant moments we could find. Weren't you fired for being in the fast food fry later? Get married at Taco Bell. That is exactly the kind of idiot you see at Taco Bell at one in the morning. Do you have nacho cheese flowing through your veins? If so, then you need to head on over to Las Vegas. You already know that it's possible to get married by Elvis in Las Vegas, but did you know you can get married at a Taco Bell in Las Vegas? Who doesn't want to start their journey of wedded bliss at a Mexican fast food joint? What's the best thing about getting married at a Taco Bell? You don't have to worry about what your guests will eat. I mean, you are at a Taco Bell restaurant. Tacos? Who wants tacos? I'm buying. Let your guests order what they want while you spend your precious time second-guessing this whole wedding thing. It's not the fact that you got married at a Taco Bell that's causing you to flip your lid. Now you're wondering if you can spend the rest of your life with someone who randomly squeezes the tube of toothpaste instead of nicely rolling it up. Come on, how hard is it to be neat in the bathroom? It's the little things like these that can make or break a marriage, regardless of whether or not it was brought to union in a Taco Bell of all places. Believe it or not, you can actually get married at many other fast food restaurants. In fact, most of them will also provide the food catering for your special day, if that's your thing. But there's just something extra WTF about getting married at a Taco Bell, which is usually more known as a late-night post-party fast food Phil. Driving through the drive-thru backwards. I'm going to drive away backwards now. There's always one comedian in the bunch. Usually, this happens late at night after all the bars have closed. If you're lucky enough to run the drive-thru after the bars let out, you've probably seen this a time or two. A car of jokers thinks it's a good idea to drive backwards through the drive-thru. No one ever finds it as funny as the people actually pulling off this WTF stunt, though. They get more eye rolls than laughs from hungry onlookers. One could excuse a designated driver for being peer pressured into doing this by their had one too many friends riding passenger in the car. Thank you, thank you very much. But if the whole car is full of sober people, you just have to shake your head. The worst part is when they pull up to the window and laugh as if they just pulled off something that no one has ever thought of. While yes, this is a WTF fast food moment, it happens more than you would think. Ask anyone who's ever worked the night shift at a drive through in a busy area, they'll have a story or two. And for anyone wondering or thinking, hey, that might be kind of funny, yes, it's illegal to drive backwards through a fast food restaurant drive through and yes, you can and will get pulled over if a cop is in the area. The ticket is probably not worth the laugh. An alligator and a thirsty man. He allegedly tossed an alligator through a Wendy's drive through window. Joshua James was thirsty one day when he spotted a gator on the side of the road. No one knows if the gator was just hitchhiking and needed a ride home. For whatever reason, Mr. James decided to grab the baby alligator and take it for a ride. That's when the guy realized he was mighty thirsty. What does a thirsty man do when he has a gator in his truck? He goes through the drive through to grab himself a refreshing cold drink, obviously. What happened next was as fitting as it gets for an event labeled as a WTF fast food moment. This was far out of the ordinary. The guy threw the baby alligator into the restaurant after they opened the drive through window to give him his drink. He must be crazy! You can't make this stuff up. We obviously have no idea what he was thinking, but the man's mother later said that his actions were nothing more than a silly prank. Well, while his mother may call it a silly prank, we call it one of the weirdest WTF fast food moments ever. And yes, in case you're wondering, this silly prank did indeed land him in hot water after receiving multiple charges from local police. Some customers will do anything to get free food. Give me free food or I'm gonna tell people on Yelp there was a pube in my salad. Free food right away. How much free food have fast food workers given out to customers that you knew 
knew were lying. A lot. It happens all the time if you're a restaurant worker. Some people will do or say just about anything to get something for free. The best lies are the ones that you hear time and time again. The old classic of, there's a hair in my food, is always a good one. You can ask them what color the hair is, and there's no one working with hair of that color. But the customer is always right, so you're left with no choice but to replace the meal. Another classic is the overcooked or undercooked complaint. Do you want me to shoot the cook? No, I'll shoot the cook. My car's parked out back anyway. This is often subjective, so again, you're forced to go with the old adage that the customer is always right, even though you know that the person is lying and is trying to say or do anything to get free food. The worst offenders are the people who call and say you messed up their order. They want another meal since someone in the kitchen made a mistake. What do you do next? You tell the person to bring the food back and you'll replace it. There's just one problem. The person says they threw the food away. Yeah, and pigs fly. But this is one of the oldest tricks in the book, and every fast food manager deals with it on an almost weekly basis. All of these occurrences will have anyone who's ever worked at a fast food restaurant thinking WTF, as they basically give out entire meals, again, for free. Passed out in the drive-thru. Investigators say he passed out in the drive-thru. If you work the drive-thru and haven't encountered someone passed out at the wheel, then you haven't been running it long enough. There are several reasons why someone may be counting sheep at the wheel, and it could be from a late night out, medication, or just plain being tired. Obviously, a person really shouldn't be driving in these conditions, but it happens more than you would think. Sometimes a long day, or life in general, has a way of catching up to a person at the worst times, like when making their order at their local drive through What do you do during this WTF moment when a driver falls asleep holding up the line at the drive through Or while you're trying to hand them a bag of food? This is the worst pain imaginable! If you're lucky, someone else in line will honk their horn and snap the driver out of it, but more than likely, your only way out of this WTF moment will be something along the lines of trying to make some noise by rattling the bag or giving them a quick shout. But if worse comes to worst, the worker will have to go outside and try to physically shake them out of their slumber. Tucking them in and allowing them to sleep it off just isn't an option, since there is a whole parade of cars behind them full of hungry customers. We feel bad for any workers who have had to deal with this WTF fast food moment, but many have. A hungry robber cooks himself a burger. He broke in just to make a burger. A man waited until Wendy's was closed to break into the place so he could steal all of the money in their safe. He got the money, and for most robbers, that would have been enough. Not for this guy. He was hungry and, not surprisingly, couldn't refuse an always fresh, never frozen Wendy's beef patty. Who can turn down the opportunity to eat one of the world's best burgers? It's not possible, no matter if you're a thief or an upstanding citizen. The robber proceeded to fry himself up a burger so he'd have something to eat while on the road making his getaway. I wasn't irresponsible. I was hungry. No one knows what fixings he liked on his burger. Was he a classic single type of guy? Hopefully he got his fix of fast food burgers since he won't be eating them in the big house. It says quite a bit about a restaurant's food if someone can't leave without cooking themselves something to eat. Maybe he should have got a job at Wendy's instead of trying to rob the place blind. Who knows? Perhaps the manager would have allowed him to take a burger or two home with him after work. A woman gave birth in a Chick-fil-A bathroom. This lady's having a baby. Chick-fil-A seems to have some of the most die-hard fans of any restaurant chain out there. No one is more brand loyal than a Chick-fil-A customer. They'd drive countless hours for their waffle fries. They're that good. A loyal customer who happened to be pregnant stopped by her favorite Chick-fil-A for a bite to eat and gave birth in the bathroom. It looks like some people start teaching their kids at a young age what a good fast food meal should be like. Nothing fixes bad times like good food. What do you do when a woman gives birth in the bathroom of one of your restaurants? Chick-fil-A gave the baby free food for life. Yes, the cute little girl will get her fill of delicious Chick-fil-A for the rest of her life for free. 
doesn't that make you wish your parents delivered you in a Chick-fil-A? Who wouldn't want free food from a fast food joint for the rest of their life? Just don't go hating on your mom because she gave birth to you in a boring old hospital and not a Chick-fil-A bathroom. How long did they wait in line for free Burger King? Oh, I love Burger King, don't you? It seems that Burger King has a troubled past in France. The restaurant chain never really took off there, so they closed their doors in 1997. And everyone wondered if that was the last they would hear from the king. No, it wouldn't be the last time royalty would grace the palates of the French. Burger King decided to make a triumphant return in 2013. It may have seemed like Burger King was gone forever, but they had loyal fans who were waiting to savor all that makes this burger joint what it is. Burger King decided to give away free food on the day it reopened its doors. My passion is eating free food! <laughs> The free food was such a hit that people stood in line for hours to get some. Think about this for a minute. France is known to have some of the best restaurants in the entire world. People there were willing to stand in line for hours to get free Burger King food. That has to tell you something about the quality of the king's food. If BK is good enough for refined French palates, then it's got to be good enough for the rest of us. McDonald's coffee is hot. Ah uh, yes, the famous McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit. Have you ever read a coffee cup at McDonald's? If so, you are warned that the coffee is hot. It's too bad they can't remind us that the sun is bright and the freezer in your refrigerator is cold. Who doesn't stick their head in the freezer and wonder why it feels like they have an ice cube sloshing around in their head. It's too bad the good folks over at McDonald's can't remind us of more things that should be common sense. They don't need to remind us how delicious the Big Mac is. All of these years have gone by, and there's a reason why it's one of the world's most famous sandwiches. But the reason why McDonald's has to tell you that coffee is hot is not actually just them pointing out the obvious. You get me one coffee drinker on that jury? You gonna walk out of there a rich man? <laughs> the real reason is that a woman spilled a cup on her lap and wound up with extreme burn injuries because the coffee served to her was well beyond just hot. Even saying it was scalding would be putting it mildly. She tried to sue McDonald's to get them to pay her medical bills, and thankfully, in the end, she got that and much more. Unfortunately, since then, there have been a million and one jokes made about a cup of coffee, the groin area, and lawyers. Bathing in Wendy's Sink A Florida Wendy's worker no longer has a job after being caught taking a bath in an industrial sink. Who can ever forget that guy who took a bath in a Wendy's sink? Working at a fast food joint can make anyone sweaty and stinky. It's not all that surprising that someone would want to get fresh and clean after pulling a long shift cooking up burgers. Most of the things you hear about going on behind the scenes at restaurants are only left to your imagination. Not this event, since his co-workers decided to break out their phones and take videos. Can't a man get a little privacy while he's taking a bath in the sink at Wendy's? Apparently not, since he was filmed shirtless while scrubbing up in the sink. Excuse me, a homeless man is giving himself a sink bath. The clean-as-a-whistle Wendy's worker was fired once the video went viral. That's not surprising at all, since anyone who takes a bath in a sink meant for dishes is going to end up getting fired. What is surprising is that the Wendy's restaurant passed a surprise inspection after the local health department got wind of what went down. He probably was a top-notch worker and cleaned out the sink after he was done taking a bath. If only Dave Thomas were alive to see what happened back in the kitchen. Chances are pretty good he wouldn't have reminded the guy to make sure to wash behind his ears. Go away! See, look, now I have to be even more ridiculous to make up for what you guys aren't doing. Stay right here and tap on another one of our great videos. And for new viewers, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.